until 2024. Hi, I am Toby Lynn. I am your executive president for student council this year. Hi, I'm Grace Sanders. I'm your executive vice president this year. Hi, I'm Meek Tishrakot, and I'm your executive corresponding secretary for student senate. Hello, I'm Brayton Osborne. I'm the executive recording secretary for student senate. We're super excited to have you in our building, and we hope you enjoy this video. In this video, we will talk about arrival and dismissal to and from school, classroom and hallway expectations, lunch and water bottle guidelines, and virtual at-home education. Hi, I'm going to be talking about arrival and dismissal procedures. So if you drive a car or if you get dropped off in the morning, you pick up breakfast immediately and report to your first hour in the classroom. In the afternoon, car riders will be dismissed by intercom and go straight to their cars without congregating. If you're a bus rider, you'll pick up breakfast immediately and report to first hour in the morning. In the afternoon, bus riders will be dismissed by intercom and go straight to the bus without congregating too. If your parent or guardian is picking you up, students who are waiting outside for parent pickup will be required to wear a mask and maintain social distance requirements. Hi, I will be talking about classroom expectations this school year. All students will be required to wear a face mask or face covering at all times throughout the day. Because of COVID-19, we are on a five hour block schedule this year. That means that we will have 75 minute classes instead of 45. And also because of the five hour schedule, there will be only four transition that occurs throughout the day. Many people are wondering what the food and water guidelines will be this year due to COVID. Every morning when you walk in in the atrium's conference corridor, there will be an area where you can pick up your breakfast and take to your first hour block, which you will eat there. Every day during your fourth block class, you will go down to the cafeteria and you will pick up your lunch, which you will take back to your fourth block class and eat. Now, many of you are also wondering what the water situation will be this year, as the water fountains will be closed. If you want to drink water during the day, you'll have to bring your own water bottle with you, but there will be refill stations, which you can refill throughout the day. Now we're gonna talk about frequently asked questions by freshmen and advice from our seniors. Definitely don't wait till the last minute to get your homework done. Work on little pieces each day so that you can get it done by the time frame. The hallways correspond with subjects, so English classes will be on A hallway and math and social studies classes will be on E hallway. And if you're ever lost, you can always ask a student senate member, a classmate, or a teacher for help. You can find your schedule on Infinite Campus and they will give you a copy of it at the beginning of the school year. If you're still lost, you can always ask an upperclassman or teacher for help. One piece of advice that I would give to any freshman is don't be afraid to ask questions. Um, ask for help in the hallway. Like, we all are so excited you're here and we're more than happy to help you get to a class or help you figure out where to join a certain club. So don't be afraid to ask questions from other students at the school. I advise everyone to get involved. Do a sport, to join a club or some other activity. Hey class of 2024, my name is Shalom, got some advice for you. I know some of y'all are like, you know, freshman year doesn't even count, you know, no one really cares about it. But let me tell you, those colleges, they care about freshman year. They do it because um, that's whenever you start your transcript and the transcripts, it's got like all the classes you've taken, the grades you got in them, and it keeps track of like your GPA. And if you start being concerned about that your freshman year, then, um, you'll be able to keep better track of like your your grades and all that good stuff because if you know if you know if you don't open your transcript for like three years and it's like second semester of junior year and you're like, oh my goodness, I gotta check my GPA and you see it and you're like, I don't like that. It's gonna be a lot harder for you to increase that GPA within a year than when you go than when you were a freshman. And I know you're like, college? What? That's not fair to four years. 
But let me tell you, coming from a senior, those four years, they creep up on you. And I just want to make sure y'all are prepared for it because I could have sworn I was just a freshman yesterday. And now I'm going to be a senior. That is so wild to me. But I just want to make sure you guys are prepared for that. And yeah.